This week, NASA announced that organic matter was identified in mud deposited in ancient Lake Jezero, or Jezero, which is an ideal place to find preserved microbes. So, is this evidence for life on Mars? On this episode of Mars Guy. Let's start with the big picture context of this new discovery, the biggest picture possible. In the entire known universe, our planet is the only one proven to have organic matter that can reproduce copies of itself and evolve. We call that life. But there's lots of organic matter out there that formed without life, including on places like this. So despite centuries of speculation and fantasies about life beyond Earth, as far as we know, we're still alone in the universe. And there's really no law of physics or chemistry that says life has to form more than once. But now we have results from Perseverance that hint at another life-bearing planet in the universe. That hint comes from a fine-grained mudstone at the front of an ancient delta deposit, a place originally recognized from orbit as a promising candidate for mudstones, and originally dubbed the Bacon Strip. In episode 70, I wondered if this could be the most important Mars rock ever, before the latest results. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Now this rock has become even more tantalizing. Results from the Sherlock instrument announced this week reveal that this mudstone has the greatest concentration of organic matter yet observed by Perseverance. The observations show that aromatic or ring-shaped organic molecules are present along with sulfate minerals. On Earth, sulfates like gypsum are abundant in Playa Lakes, so this may be the kind of ancient setting that Perseverance has found. Evaporative processes that produce sulfates are good at both concentrating and preserving organic matter, which on Earth is nearly always from dead organisms. But on Mars, we have to start with the assumption that any organic matter is from non-biologic or abiotic processes. Still, the organic matter found by Perseverance may fit the definition of a potential biosignature. A potential biosignature was carefully defined in preparation for this mission to make sure that we can have some confidence in what to look for in a rock sample that makes it worth returning to Earth. So it was agreed that an object, substance, and or pattern that might have a biological origin but needs more information to prove it is a potential biosignature, which is different than a definitive biosignature. The organic matter contained in this mudstone may be a potential biosignature, but it can't be proven without bringing samples back to labs on Earth. Back on Earth, the organic matter could be analyzed in much greater detail for the distinguishing characteristics of biologic origin. For now, it's possible that Perseverance has just found abiotic organic matter that accumulated outside of Jezero Crater and then washed in and was concentrated in a Playa Lake. But it's also possible that this organic matter and the rock it's in, when analyzed back on Earth, will finally reveal another place in the universe with life. 